Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a video on uh, shock tips and hints, whatever you want to call it. Um, so right off the bat, I'm just going to show you here, uh, this shock has a hole in it. Uh, don't worry, there's no oil coming out because the diaphragm is still installed in the shock. Um, the reason why I did this is because I want to eliminate any shock rebound. So shock rebound is when you push the piston shaft all the way in and you let go and it starts to move out on its own. That's shock rebound. Some people use shock rebound. Uh, I personally don't and I know a few top drivers uh, do the same. Um, what they do is they drill a small hole in the top of the shock cap to eliminate any rebound to have zero rebound and if you're to think about it if you have rebound you're basically adding to the spring rate so what you want to try to do is you want to eliminate uh, this additional spring rate and by doing so you just add a little hole here and you'll have zero rebound because if you think about it the shock here inside it's meant to dampen the spring if you have rebound you're just going to be adding to the spring and it just makes no sense so put the little hole in which will give you zero rebound and the shock will do what it's supposed to do dampen the spring not add to the spring okay um, next uh, tip, I think it's a pretty basic tip that everyone should know. Make sure that all four shocks are equal length. Uh, your manual for whatever company will give you a suggested uh, length. Uh, ideally, 62 millimeters is the standard, uh, but that could change from uh, one company to another. Uh, so we want to make, you want to make sure that all four shocks are equal length. Um, and you also want to make sure that all four shocks have the same dampening, so zero rebound. If you're the type that wants to have a little bit of rebound, you have to make sure that all four shocks have the same exact rebound. All right. Next, um, I'm not going to take the shock apart, but inside here you'll have your o-ring seals and these are quite important to uh, do correctly um, what you need to do is fill or cover the o-rings with uh, a grease of some sort uh, a lot of guys will use which i have use green slime you know put uh, green slime on the o-rings and that helps to prevent any oil leaks coming through the piston shaft here now i have been recently using this uh stuff here and this is by a company uh, called uh, tko it's called o slip and this stuff is absolutely amazing for shock uh, o-rings uh, the great thing about this stuff is it doesn't swell the o-rings which tends to be a common problem with uh, uh with the uh, shock uh, o-rings so this stuff here will go on nicely and uh, I'm not too sure what the consistency is of this stuff but it's not I've never seen anything like it before it's quite something it's very very light and uh, like compared to the green slime I would say that the stiction is higher with the green slime I know I'm sorry guys who use green slime but I find that the stiction is a lot higher than what you got with this stuff here it's the shock is just so much smoother and I really highly I highly suggest the stuff it's called the uh, oslip sorry there's no label on it but the package it gives you label and instructions on how to uh, 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 apply it um, and it's actually quite nice um, you can't actually see from the video but the actual o slip puts in like a small like almost like a, a membrane on the shaft so any dirt and debris that might 
go inside the shock, it's it's doesn't it doesn't happen. And 